Here we are again with another Melodyne tutorial. This is going to show you how we use the time function, the uh, time tool here, to further tighten up uh, a double vocal track to the lead vocal track. So in the last video, I showed you the, the tuning of both of these tracks and how we use this new f uh, feature up here, the, the track header uh, toolbar here to show various versions of Melodyne's pitch corrected blobs behind the, uh, the editor that you're currently using. And I'll just play the track here so you can hear it once again. Keep bleeding, I keep, keep bleeding love. So we're looking at the chorus double vocal track, the Melodyne editor, and we're going to engage the uh, note reference behind. So now you can see the gray blobs there. Now we're in tune. Both of these tracks sound good together. Now what we're, the rub that we're hearing is the timing. So we're going to go in with the timing tool and fix that. So if you right click, you can see the timing tool here. And when you use this, you hold option and it just lets you slide the timing of each note around so you can line it up to whatever uh, uh, lead vocal track or if you're doing a stack of backgrounds. However, whatever you're timing against, it lets you see it and be able to visually line it up. Makes it much easier than having to do it entirely by ear. So we're going to go through really quickly. We're going to line it up visually and then we're going to listen through and hear a before and after, and then what we'll do is we'll fine tune by ear. So I can see right out of the gate here, there's our consonant on the first little Keep. K there. Okay. And we're just going to go through, just line it up visually for now. We're going to go back and line it up by ear afterwards because there's always some stuff here that sounds a little off, even though it looks like it's lined up. Okay, here's that note that we were having issues with in the uh, in the last um, the last video where his phrasing was a little bit different. So I'm just going to use the time stretch function there, and that way, hopefully, we've matched it up a little bit better. And again, some sometimes your blobs get cut differently uh, depending on what. Uh, what the consonants and you know like I was saying in the first video I leave the trail ins and trail outs of each note so that way it sounds a little bit more natural so sometimes your your transitions look a little bit different but here's pretty much visually lined up and let's have a listen here's un untuned untimed keep bleeding I keep keep bleeding love now here's tuned and timed Keep bleeding, I keep, keep bleeding, love, keep bleeding. Much better. Keep bleeding, I keep, keep bleeding, love. Okay, so there's one spot that I'm hearing. Keep bleeding, I keep bleeding, I keep Right there. So let's move that over a little bit. Bleeding, I keep. Let's go a little more. Bleeding, I keep. Now, what I like to do when I'm doing this by ear is I'll keep moving it and I'll go too far and then I'll bring it back. So I'm. I'm bringing bleeding I keep now I've gone too far so now let's bring it back and find that sweet spot bleeding I keep bleeding I keep bleeding I keep bleeding I keep now I've gone too far the other way the other cool thing is you can turn off the visual of the notes that you're editing kind of see what's going on so I can see the transition of between those two notes is a little bit further back than where I currently am so let's move that back a little bit bleeding I keep keep bleeding love Bleeding, I keep, keep bleeding. Much better. Bleeding, I keep, keep. Okay, now let's just adjust this a little bit as well. Bleeding, I keep, keep. Bleeding, I keep. Bleeding, I keep. keep. Got a little bit of a rub here. It could be a note thing, so I'm gonna keep. have a quick peek at the lead and see what the lead's doing. Yeah, it's a little bit of a different delivery on that. So let's go back. Let's see if we can just. Force this in a little bit better. Bleeding, I keep, keep bleeding, I keep bleeding, I keep bleeding, I keep bleeding, I keep keep bleeding, bleeding, I keep keep bleeding, I keep keep bleeding, I keep keep bleeding, I keep bleeding, I keep keep bleeding. Okay, 
I'll go with that for now. And I might do some fine tuning once I print the Melodyne and I can see the waveforms or once I hear it with the rest of the track. I'll do some editing outside of Melodyne as well, just some manual time stretching or just moving the waveform and doing some crossfades. But this gets you so much further ahead than what you used to have to do. Bleeding, I keep, keep bleeding. Bleeding, I keep, keep bleeding. There's one spot here. Bleeding, I keep, keep bleeding. Keep bleeding, love. Keep bleeding, love. Keep bleeding, love. Keep bleeding, love. And again, I think we're a little something's. Keep bleeding, love. It's a little better. Pitch drift tool. Keep bleeding, love. Keep bleeding, love. So let's hear this once again, unprocessed. Keep bleeding, I keep, keep bleeding, love. Processed. Keep bleeding, I keep, keep bleeding, love. Now I'm hoping you guys can hear that because it's pretty drastic to me. Obviously I do this a lot, so I've developed a little bit of an ear for hearing the discrepancies of tuning and timing. Um, but I, I wanted to do this particular example so that way you could really hear the rub. So I'm going to play that one more time for you. Keep bleeding, I keep, keep bleeding, love. Keep bleeding, I keep, keep bleeding, love. So hopefully you can hear that a little bit more obvious than just tuning one of the vocal tracks on their own, hearing the rub between the two. And uh, make sure you check out Melodyne 4. It's got some really cool, really cool features that we haven't even gotten into yet, but even the new features that they've implemented have made my life a lot easier and... Uh, lets you focus in on really the sound of the track and the sound of the stuff that you're editing as opposed to having to worry about the workflow and bouncing back and forth. It lets you just focus in uh, more on what you're doing. So check out Melodyne 4. Thanks for watching. Check out my channel often on YouTube. I'll be putting up some new videos shortly as well, um, some other products, and then also expanding a little bit more on Melodyne 4. Thanks for watching. Bye. I'm <laughs> sorry.